So how easy is it to jailbreak your iPad? It's easy. You just hit yes. Today on Two Smart Guys. Hi, I'm Pox. Couch guy. You're watching the Two Smart Guys show where every week we bring you the latest in jailbreaking or fixing <laughs> your devices. Warranty voiding. Upgrading them, modding them, making them better than they were originally intended by the manufacturers. And one of these days we're going to break out the soldering iron again. Yes, we must break out the soldering iron. But today we're doing a super simple hack. I love super simple hacks. You know why? The super simple hacks make it super simple, fast, and easy to get into your stuff. <laughs> so, um, the big news is iPad 2 is finally jailbroken. So you can finally take your iPad Sorry, 2 Apple. and jailbreak it. Right now with the most current firmware, which is 4.33, you... I guess I should get into the tutorial, because this thing is just, like, crazy easy. Well, you, count to three. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So you launch Safari... And in the address bar, you type in jailbreakme.com. Wait, wait, that was difficult. Try it again. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, just hit install. <laughs> and that's it. And you can see it is installing Cydia, and it loads really fast. I guess however fast your internet connection is. And that's it. It's done. It's, it's jailbroken. And why would you want to jailbreak your iPad? Well, you can do some cool things on there, like... Um, you can launch apps in, in retina mode. So like on the iPhone 4, there's apps that are in higher resolution. Normally on the iPad, it just displays the lower resolution, which is stupid. So this hack enables the higher resolution mode on the iPad too. And there, there's tons of things like that. There's a, so you can share, make it a wireless hotspot and all kinds of other unique things that are not normally allowed by Apple. And and this works on all the iPad 2s with that firmware. Right. It doesn't matter whether or not who you're 3G or Verizon or whatever you're dealing with. No, you're, you're yeah. um, good to go. We should talk about how this happens and what needs to be a precaution because of it. Oh, and the other big thing is it works on all iOS devices pretty much. It works so on, you doesn't matter if it's iPhone or, you know. Yeah, it works on um, iPad 1, iPad 2, 3GS, iPhone 4 and the iPod touches uh, the third and fourth generation running uh, 4.3 to 4.33. So now, a very wide this, range of devices. This jailbreak works through an exploit through PDF, though. Right. Which so, is cool on one hand and not so cool on another hand. Yeah. Um, so you, one of the things that's really nice that these jailbreakers have done is they've made the PDF to patcher Insidia so that you can protect your phone because right now any PDF could install malware or virus or harmful software of any kind. So and it wouldn't be any notification to you. Right. So actually everybody should do it right now. Jailbreak your phone and put the patch on there so you're safe because it might take now, Apple a times, couple days. <laughs> how many times has it been that uh, either a, a PDF or a TIFF has been the, the exploit used to jailbreak a a device. Well, this is the first. This is the third time on iOS from for iPhones, and mm. I know the, the PSP. The, the PSP it happened like five or six times with the TIFF, and I think it's happened on um, a couple other devices. It's pretty. It's like the go-to tool for hacking is checking out the TIFF or the PDF files. Catch more of our shows at twosmartguys.com. Subscribe to the feed wherever you can find it. And we'll see you guys next week. We do shows every Monday and a live show every Wednesday night at twosmartguys.com slash live. This has been the Two Smart Guys. We